Brett, how much was just body language and energy and enthusiasm and all that stuff a focus this week as compared to what happened last week? Yeah, it, it was a big part of, of uh, everything we talked about. And again, you know, we try to simulate that in practice and put them in at, at adverse situations and, you know, it, uh, put them in as many of those situations as possible, but nothing compares to that actual game. Um, game time situation with the crowd in there and you know uh, every possession means something so you know for us to uh, go out there and take positive steps uh, I thought early we had some great looks we missed a couple easy layups we missed some wide open threes uh, but we stayed in it we stayed together we kept guarding and uh, you know eventually went that run uh, where we got up 18 and you know you have to try to manufacture some points when that ball's not going in the hoop I think uh, one for 13 at halftime from the three-point line uh, but we got to the uh, free throw line uh, 19 times, and a lot of that was Hanif getting out in front of the ball and attacking the basket. Uh, and you have to have that when that ball is not going in, and you have to continue to guard. And I thought we did that tonight. How do you feel that you guys are coming along as a defensive team right now? Well, uh, you, th that's uh, obviously another thing we talked about is being more consistent uh, on that end of the floor. And I thought, you know, a big thing tonight was we asked our bigs, you know, we knew that they'd have their hands full. Those are some big, strong, physical uh, players down in the block. And uh, they were going to play one-on-one -on because -one a lot of their offense comes from the three-point line. When they get offensive rebounds, they do a great job of kicking out for open threes. And you know, we did a really good job, I thought, of running them off their shot and forcing them in to take mid-range uh, shots as opposed to giving them threes. And that was a big part of our game plan, and the guys went out and executed it. How do you kind of see Ivan, I guess, grow over this first stretch of game? Yeah, you know, I, I, I talk about this a lot. I, you know, sometimes we forget Ivan's still a 17 year old kid. And, you know, you look at him out there, and he's got a big, strong body, he's a big physical kid. Um, but, you know, in reality, he probably should be playing in high school uh, this year. So, you know, we're asking a lot of him to go out there and start uh, in a conference that's as physical as any in the country. And, uh, you know, he's going to have a battle on Friday against a very physical, maybe the most physical team in our league uh, in Rutgers. And, you know, not only Ke uh, Ivan, but Kevin as well. And I thought those guys did a good job of doing their work early. Uh, you have to do that when you're giving up size. Uh, but for Ivan to go out and get that double-double was huge with the 14 uh, rebounds. Uh, we have to have that. And, you know, again, with, with this game, we've played two of the bigger, longer teams in our league so far with Indiana and Purdue. We'll see another one on Friday. Uh, our guards are going to have to go in there and help out. Similar, you know, one of the reasons I think we won that game against Purdue is Burke got seven and Cam got ten, and the guards went in there and helped when our bigs are in a wrestling match uh, with those guys. But yeah, Ivan, uh, you know, with the six offensive rebounds, and I thought he finished better as the game went on, and his free throws looked good. I, thought, I really liked his free throw stroke today. What do, you, what do you point to as, as most important for these guys, knowing that it's all big <clears throat> Yeah, it's just, you know, the overall consistency uh, of everything we're trying to do. We, we have to have a, a, a great week of practice. Um, you know, I thought the guys came back with good focus after the holiday break. And we have to continue on an upward trend if we're going to have a chance to compete uh, with the teams that we're about to face these next 18 games. Uh, you know, what you prepare yourself for, hopefully, is to uh, be playing good basketball when you go into league play. You have to. Um, you know, we can't have lulls where uh, we drop our heads or have poor body language because teams will take advantage of us and they'll go on a big run and then it's going to be too late. Uh, you know, and we've done that in our league games so far. And hopefully those are two games we can build on. Uh, had a disappointing loss in our last one, but bounced back, I thought, with a good effort, especially on the defensive end tonight. And offensively, that ball really got moving, I thought, in the second half. And, uh, you know, defensive pressure led to some easy baskets, and we have to find a way to manufacture some of those. Hanif kind of alluded to these guys having a tendency to play up or down, depending on the opponent. Um, do you think that that was maybe a product of the, incon or the inconsistency was maybe a product of that? And do you see that well, maybe I changing with league play? I think up? the inconsistency early was just yeah, guys really trying to get a feel for everybody. And, you know, going out, there were so many new faces uh, in a game type situation. And, you know, your first road experience, how do you handle it? Obviously, not very well with our two games against Georgia Tech and Creighton, but then follow that up with a great performance at Indiana and followed that up with a great performance on a short prep against Purdue. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say this, I, you know, this, this group is, is uh, you know, hopefully coming together and we'll go out and play uh, consistently on both ends of the floor. And we're, we're going to have to, obviously we have a very thin margin and, you know, we have to go out and do everything right if we're going to have a chance to win. Fred, that consistency and avoiding those lulls, um, in these first 13 games, how much of your expectations were were shaped by the composition, you know, the relative inexperience of this group? What, what were you 
your standards were? How much was it impacted by the way this team came together? Yeah, as far as expectations, <clears throat> you know, I really didn't set them. I just wanted to see us take positive steps. And I've seen us get better as a basketball team. Obviously, the disappointment uh, of the last game. Uh, but, you know, if you're going back and watching that thing, as, as I said yesterday, um, you know, I, it wasn't as much as an energy thing as it was uh, a body language thing. And I just didn't see that urgency and resiliency that I had seen in the two Big Ten games. And today, when the ball wasn't going in the hoop, uh, we did a better job of continuing to guard. But, you know, we scored it at a high enough clip and an efficient enough clip against North Dakota to win, but we just could not find a way to get the big stop. And they answered every run, and you got to give them credit for that. But, you know, you got to find a way to be resilient when tough times happen. And we're going to continue to, you know, every game we play, I promise you, we're going to go through a tough stretch. We handled it great against Purdue. We handled it well against Indiana. We didn't handle it as well in our last non-conference game. So in order for us to compete, uh, we have to be consistent in that area. Well, I just I want to see the team get better as the season goes on. And, you know, we, we had so many new faces, and obviously expectations weren't very high for this group. Uh, not to say that we ever talked about that, because, you know, I went in there with an open mind, uh, with a group of guys that I felt good about that could go out there and compete. And I'll say this, for the most part, we are competing at a much more consistent level than we were earlier in the year. And I think it's the product of guys getting more comfortable with each other and being in, what was this, 14 games now, uh, that we play together out there on the floor. So I do think we're getting uh, better. We are growing. Uh, are we still going to have some ups and downs and growing pain? Sure we are. But you know, my goal with this group is to continue to get better and continue to take positive steps. Hi, this is Jason Jorgensen, Sports Director at KRVN. Thanks for watching this video on our YouTube channel. Now, to keep up to date with all of the things we have going on in terms of sports, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. All you need to do is hit the little red button in the corner.